Hey folks, welcome back to Honey Money SG. Now this time, it is the February BTO official launch. And in this video, I'll walk through some of the BTO details as well as the site plan so that it can help you make a better review and analysis of which project to go for and which unit you may want to select. So with that, let's move on to the HDB official website. Let's go. Alright folks, for Tenga, we actually have two project sites. For, for the first one, it's called Plantation Creek. So this is the 2022 built to order for February. And for Plantation Creek, there's actually six residential blocks ranging from 15 to 16 floors. Okay, so for Plantation Creek, the details are here. Estimated completion date, second quarter 2026. Waiting time of around 44 months, so that's close to 4 years, which is quite typical for BTO flats nowadays. 4 room, we have 377, 5 room, we have 336 units, totaling up to 713 units. And Plantation Creek is actually the unit that's facing the Penn Island Expressway that is nearer to the Jurong West region, right? There's another project that is more in the inner Tengah Circle, we'll look at that later. But for the purpose of this portion, we'll talk about Plantation Creek first. So here is the artist's impression. The color scheme is like a brown and white and a slight grayish color. Nothing too fanciful, quite minimalist. And then we have this internal area where the fitness stations and the playgrounds are. Now let's take a look at the site plan. This is where the details will be at. And so Plantation Creek will look like this. It's more like a curved shape. And for this project, we only have four room and five room units. So we do not have all the two room and three room flats. Facilities wise, we have children's playground, fitness station. All these are your usual facilities that they all have. And there is even a future amenities residence network center. And most importantly, a child care center for your child needs, right? So it's at number seven, which is this isolated building here for the child care center. It's actually a two-story child care center. Uh, you can see, right? Two-story child care center with roof garden. Okay, so they specifically built one child care center isolated for the residents. Uh. And we can see some sheltered walkways all along this project, so don't have to worry about rain. There is a six-story multi-story car park with a roof garden that is accessible. So this will help to block off some noise, right? Because your multi-story car park is the one that is facing the Penn Island Expressway. So highway, expressway, we have a lot of traffic noise. This six-story car park will help to shield away some of the noise. But if you are living above sixth floor, then you probably have more traffic noise coming in because you don't have the shield from the multi-story car park. But what's interesting is that there is a site actually reserved for future water body. So they are going to build a pond here, right? They're going to call it Tenga Pond. Okay, so for those people who are into feng shui, maybe you want to take some units that's facing the water, uh, especially these southeast facing units, bring in more luck and more wealth into your house. Okay, and then we have six residential blocks. All of them are 16 floors and they are all four room and five room units only. So if I just look at this site plan and see which are the best facing units, right? Like I said, those that are facing the water will have very good wealth in terms of feng shui. But that's all for the five room units, right? For four room units, I would say get those that are north south facing. So most likely it's 305 and 307. But the thing is, this is facing a traffic junction. So you will expect quite a bit of traffic noise. But anyway, I don't see any units that are facing the west. Uh, because if you're facing the west, you'll get those west evening sun, which can be really hot. So try to avoid units that have exposure to the west direction. Right, try to pick those facing the east, the north, and the south. Then you don't have such heating elements problem. Okay, there is a site reserved for sports and recreation. Probably build a sports complex there, basketball court, soccer field, I don't know. But will be good for those who really love sports recreation games, right? I don't know what's in stock for there. And one more interesting thing is they have a supermarket, shops, restaurant, and eating house. So very good, huh? very lucky. These guys have a supermarket and eating house just below the block. Okay, we see where is it. It's usually near the car park. Okay, they denoted it here. So it's actually at the car park, the first floor. So SM for supermarket, EH for eating house. So very convenient for the residents here. If they want to do some grocery shopping or just having some food to tap out, then very convenient for them. Just go downstairs all available within the walking distance of the housing estate. Now with that, let's move on to the floor plan, okay? Let's start off with the four-room flat floor plan for Plantation Creek. So the internal floor area is around 91 square meters, priced between 309 to 377,000 Singapore dollars. And let's take a look at the resale flat nearby, right? So these are more for the Jurong West flats. 
for four room is around four thirty six to five twenty five thousand Singapore dollars. And here is a financing from the HDB website. I won't go through this, but I think more importantly, let's take a look at the layout. So this is a layout for the four room floor plan with an internal floor area ninety one square meters and an aircon latch of three square meters, totaling up to ninety four square meters. So you can see from this floor plan, typical four room layout is a L shape. So once you enter the living room, you have a common walkway that leads on to your two bedrooms, common bedrooms and one master bedroom. Okay, and then you have two toilets, one attached to your master bedroom. Household shelter is along the common walkway, so it's not at the door. And kitchen wise, it's just a standard rectangular kitchen. Um, there's no opportunity for open concept kitchen because it's just leading to the doorway. And then we have a small service yard for your washing machine and hanging of clothes. So very typical four room layout. We don't have any balcony for this project, but let's take a look at the five room flats, right? Five room for this plantation creek. We'll have an internal floor area of 110 square meters. Price between 420 to 506,000 Singapore dollars. And nearby, the resale flats is around 570 to 610. So a bit of a bargain as well as a 99 years old lease. Okay, so for the five room floor plan wise, if you look at the internal floor area is 110 square meters with three square meters of aircon latch. So once you enter from the main door, you can see this very elongated shape of the kitchen. So for those who love cooking, who love to have a big kitchen, I think this five room units will be ideal for you because you can have many cooking appliances, a lot of kitchen furniture and all those things you can put in your kitchen. And nowadays HDB build their kitchen really small, right? Because they think that people don't cook anymore. But there are still a lot of people who really love large kitchens, right? For home bakery business especially. So for five room, they have an enlarged living room uh, where people usually partition it for the suggested study. But if you don't, then you can just enjoy the space of a larger living room. I think that's really nice as well. Household shelter along the common walkway again. You have two common bedrooms of similar size and a main bedroom that's slightly larger with an attached toilet to it. And then the other common toilet is a little bit smaller judging by the floor plan here. And for this plantation creek, you must note that there is actually non-optional finishes. That means all the vinyl strip flooring, the floor tiles, the wall tiles, internal doors and sanitary fittings have already been included in the price when you buy this flat. So there's no optional component scheme, it's non-optional. If you want to like have other designs, you have to go and ask HDB for permission and then go and hack away the tiles and then spend more money, go and fix more doors and sanitary fittings. Uh. So you have to be very sure that you love those finishes. Otherwise, you have to spend more money to do up all those stuff. So that's for the plantation creek. Let's take a look at the second project, which is called Park Flora at Tenga. Alright, so for Park Flora, we actually have four residential blocks ranging from 12 to 14 stories in height. And for Park Flora, we actually have all the flat types, right? You see? We have 2 room flexi type 125, type 2 to 76, 3 room 85, 4 room 193, and 5 room 181 totaling up to 560 units, which is slightly lesser than the Plantation Creek project. Estimated completion time, third quarter 2025. That's around three years, which is 36 months. Slightly shorter than Plantation Creek, right? So for those people who want to stay in Tenga and you want a shorter waiting period, then do consider this project, right? Park Flora. And Park Flora is actually located near the Tenga bus interchange. You can see over here, it's just within the same parcel of land. And of course, the Tenga MRT that is going up in the Jurong Regional Line in the future. So you'll have quite sufficient transportation options in terms of public transport. Now let's take a look at the artist's impression. So for Park Flora, slightly more vibrant colors. We have a tinge of orange and yellow elements against a white background. Slightly more vibrant colors compared to Plantation Creek. And here's the internal area, nothing much to say. Very typical of those BTO flats, okay? And let's take a look at the site plan for Park Flora, right? So for Park Flora, we have all the room types, two room to five room flats. And the usual play facilities, we all have it, playground, fitness station, whatnot social amenities we have childcare center okay at number seven so number seven is over here for those people who are interested to send your kids to childcare center here it is number seven childcare center and we do have four residential blocks ranging from 12 floors to 14 floors and if you want to stay at two room flexi it's only available at the 324b and 325b the rest, they do not have two-room flexi flats, okay? They only have three-room, four-room, and five-room. So for three-room, it's in the green color one. And then four-room is yellow color, and orange is five-room flats. And for this project, there's no eating house and supermarket. Huh? You have to go to the nearby Tenga housing estate for those facilities and amenities. 
And let's take a look at the perimeters first. We do have a few bus shelters over here. One over at the northwestern side and one at the southeastern side. Okay, at the both opposite ends. Okay, there is a reserve site for high-rise development as well. So those facing the north side will be blocked as well. And the multi-story car park is located at the northeastern side. There is a roof garden attached to it. And if you are living nearby the residential blocks, especially here, then you probably have like a connecting bridge over to the car park. Now, if I were to pick an ideal unit, I would try to pick those units that are facing the east because there is a common green here. So very nice greenery that you can look out of your window. But the thing is, at the other side, there are so public housing that is blocking the view. So there's no view to talk about uh, usually because Tenga is such a concentrated housing estate. They are going to develop this place at the next Pongo and Sengkang level. So don't expect a lot of things going on other than housing estate. But I really love those units facing the east, just that you have some eastern morning sun. The morning sun is good for your skin anyway, right? Go and absorb some vitamin D. But if you don't like the sun, you can choose those north-south orientation facing ones, like those units over here, the 514, 516, 518, 520. Just that you have some traffic noise along this Tenga Drive, right? Um, I don't know how the traffic will be. Nobody really knows now because the road has not been developed yet. Now with that, let's take a look at some of the price and the internal floor plan, right? And let's start with the three room flats, okay? So for the three room flats, the internal floor area is around 68 square meters. Price between 231 to 273,000 Singapore dollars. And there is a no resale flats nearby for comparison. Very good. So I don't need to talk about it. And let's take a look at the floor plan, right? Internal floor plan, 68 square meters with a 3 square meters aircon latch totaling up to 71 square meters. So very typical 3 room layout. Once you enter the door, no balcony for you. Kitchen on your left is a rectangular shape. There is no opportunity for open concept kitchen if you love that idea because the household shelter is blocking you, right? You have this household shelter at the common walkway, one common bedroom and one master bedroom with a toilet attached. So nothing much to say about this this is very typical small three room layout but you see now hdb actually has a note right they say they will combine the kitchen and the utility space meaning they will not build any partition here anymore because you know existing bto flats right they have this partition between the utility room and the kitchen you know and then some people need to spend money and go and hack ah uh, so they know ah uh, they don't need to waste money go and build up that partition and the wall panel and the window panel already. So very good. We will love the extra space for the kitchen slash utility room. Moving on to four room flats. We have internal floor area 91 square meters. Price between 322 to 403,000 Singapore dollars. Okay, there are actually resale flat nearby for comparison. 438 to 525 versus a 322 to 403. Wow, that's quite a big gap, huh? So very good deal for this Tenga residents. Let's take a look at the actual floor plan. So similarly to the three room, no surprises. Household shelter is on the common walkway. So that also means you have no opportunity for open concept kitchen. But this time there's a partition with the door. Why they always love to build this partition at the four room and above flat types, right? I so don't understand. Because can't they just standardize this, right? Very irritating. Uh. Two common bedrooms, one main bedroom, master toilet attached. Smaller common bathroom over here. Living and dining room, just normal L-shaped size. But I noticed one thing. What is this lobang here? How come they cannot give us the space here? I want to eat away our space or so. Uh. Usually this space is for the household shelter one, right? They eat away the space already. I don't know what they do with it. Okay, let's move on to the five room one. So five room is internal floor area 110. Price between 428 to 525,000 Singapore dollars. And resale flat nearby around 570 to 610. And let's take a look at the actual floor plan. Okay, five room flats. This time we can see a much larger kitchen with the partition service yard again. So if you want to extend your kitchen, you need to spend money, go and hack it. Make sure you get HDB permission. And you have a slightly larger living room and suggested study that you can use as a home office if you have work from home commitments. Okay, household shelter on the common walkway again. You have a much smaller common toilet than the master toilet. Why nowadays the master toilet do so big? Uh? I so don't know. But you have two common bedrooms and one master bedroom. Okay, so like a plantation creek for park flora, you actually have non-optional finishes as well. That means all your floor tiles, your wall tiles, and all the sanitary fittings and internal doors have already been pre-selected by HDB. So you cannot make any selection or choice. You just have to stick with their decision. And if you do want to change or modify, you have to seek their permission and pay additional money to your contractors or interior designers so that they can go and do up all the work for you. So if you want to save money and you love HDB quality, then no harm choosing. Uh, I think it's good because it also means that 
the PPVC method uh, will help to build the flats faster because they don't have to customize to every flat owner's opinion whether they want to build the floor tiles or not. So that's why it's much faster. Alright, so with this review of Park Flora and Plantation Creek, I feel that these two projects are worthy projects for you if you really love to stay at Tenga in the western region of Singapore. And they also offer quite a bit of 5 room flats, right, for the larger flat lovers. Okay, so don't waste your chance to go and apply for a flat in Tenga, brand new housing estate, and slightly shorter waiting time compared to the usual BTO, right, which is like 4 to 5 years in others. And then over here, we are just like 3 to 4 years. So, very good waiting time if you want this opportunity. So if you felt that my review has helped you with your decision making process for the February 2022 BTO, do help me comment a thank you at the bottom. I'll really appreciate it and let's get back to the video. Hey, welcome back. So I hope that you have enjoyed my thorough analysis of the BTO site that you are applying for. And do take a look at the subscription rate as of the end of today. If you have found value, then remember to share it to your friends and family and give me a like at the bottom of this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also check out the prior BTO map analysis to go through what are the surrounding things around in your estate. With that, thank you for watching. My name is Christopher. This is Honey Money SG, steering young adults to financial independence.